Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a portrait of a fun guy, Kawhi Leonard himself, and I'm going to be talking a little bit about basketball. I'm also going to be talking about my drawing process and some of the tools I used. So let's have a look. Uh, this is a 2H graphite pencil that I'm sketching with right now. I'm going to be using a combination of pencils as I normally do when drawing pro uh, portraits because I do most of my work in charcoal pencil but I also like to use other tools in order to supplement uh, that charcoal pencil and uh, use some of the advantages of other types of pencils. In addition to charcoal pencils, I also use a little bit of vine charcoal for shading. And for some of the details and textures, I also use a black colored pencil and even a graphite pencil. And also I normally use a graphite pencil for sketching. As for the brands, they are not really important as I always say, although when it comes to charcoal pencils, I tend to prefer those that can be sharpened and that don't break, which is why I prefer woodless charcoal pencils. They're very thick and easy to, to sharpen. So as you can see now I'm working with a medium woodless charcoal pencil sharpened to a fine tip which allows me to produce some nice uh, thinner lines than you would normally be able to do with charcoal sticks. <clears throat> now, a few words about the subject. If you've been following the NBA, you know that Kawhi Leonard has had a great season and he's coming off a great playoff run with the Toronto Raptors having won an NBA title. And it is now that a lot of the so-called experts in the media are finally starting to acknowledge that he might be one of the best players in the league, if not the best player in the league. Even though there's still going to be a lot of debates, obviously. But uh, I think this discussion or this observation is probably long overdue because Kawhi Leonard has been better than LeBron James for at least five years in the league and LeBron James up until recently was considered to be the best player in the world and there are still some of the so-called media experts that consider him the best player in the world in spite of all the evidence to the contrary. But like I said, Kawhi has been certainly better than LeBron James uh, for at least five years. He dominated him in the 2014 NBA Finals when the Spurs defeated the Miami Super Team, probably the most stacked team ever assembled in the NBA. And Kawhi was also the finals MVP. So in the last five years or so, Kawhi has had two titles, a final MVPs, a defensive player of the year, and many other impressive accomplishments. So it's kind of hard to argue against him being the best or at least one of the best players in the world at least until Kevin Durant comes back if I had to pick my players of the decade of the 2010s uh, I would pick be between three names and those would be Steph Curry, Kawhi Leonard and Kevin Durant in that order 
uh, those players, in my opinion, were the most prominent and the best players in the previous 10 years. Now I'm doing those cornrows, and with a charcoal pencil they are not that difficult to do. I didn't really put too much effort into them. Just try to imitate something that looks like braids. I have to tell you that this was a fairly challenging portrait. I picked a reference photo that had a, kind of a difficult angle and difficult lighting. So I made my job a little more difficult than it had to be. And I actually struggled to achieve proper likeness for much of this drawing process. I found myself going back and uh, modifying uh, the areas around the eyes and I really wasn't happy with the mouth until the very end of the drawing. Sometimes when you're drawing a portrait it can be very difficult to see uh, what's wrong and you have to step away from it for a while and then go back to it later so that you can maybe see something that you've missed. Something obvious about the shape of the face which you keep missing because you're staring at the reference photo and your own drawing for too long. Uh, my father, who was a mathematician, uh, used to say the same thing about uh, mathematics. When he was trying to solve mathematical problems or tasks, he called it mathematical blindness. Uh, when you're thinking about something too long and the solution simply isn't presenting itself to you, it's good to take a break and then after a break and when you continue you find the solution easily and then it seems like it should have been obvious to you from the beginning but that's the way it is even when drawing portraits it can sometimes be difficult to see what's wrong so taking a break is often beneficial <clears throat> what do I think of the Clippers' chances of winning the title this year? I think they're pretty good, although it's too early to tell. It's kind of difficult to predict these things because there's always injuries. And the regular season isn't necessarily a great indicator of what go what's going to happen later in the playoffs. The Lakers will certainly be a contender uh, even though I think they are a little bit overrated but as usual they will have plenty of coverage in the media as well as a significant amount of help from the league and the refs as they always did uh, throughout history of their franchise especially a recent one. There are also a couple of very good teams in the East now. So we'll see. I, um, I decided to add a little bit of detail on the jersey here and to give myself a break from working on the face so I shaded the neck and started adding a little bit of texture and detail on the neck as well. And a few shadows here and there. At this point I think that the shape of his face started to improve a little bit, although I still wasn't really happy with it. I think I got the shape of his forehead and the area between the eyes pretty good and the cheekbones are also pretty good but 
But I think the main problem was the shape of the the mouth and the area around the mouth and the nose. Here I was almost done and I signed the drawing but it often happens that I continue to fidget with the drawing even when I'm uh, when I've signed it so here I decided to make a few adjustments to the mouth and I think and I think that's about it so that was my portrait of Kawhi Leonard I hope you enjoyed this video I'm gonna put some links here so that you can check out some of the other drawings of basketball players if you're interested in that Thank you for watching and bye for now.